Um, so there was at one point where he kind of like held his head and was like, um, like, kind of screaming. That's because I played this. Um, and if we go to, where is it? The item description. Small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. A song plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. So Father Gascoigne is that girl's father. And you remember um, the girl mentioned a red brooch? And that is the little girl's mother. So yeah, um, not the most pleasant ending for their story. In fact, it can get even darker, but I'm not gonna go into that. But, um, woo! That, that was the most pumped I felt. Um, in a long time playing this game. Um, I mean, the dude was trying to kill me, AB. I was just defending myself, and I didn't kill that woman. Um, there's actually conflicting theories about maybe if Father Gascoigne killed her in his bloodlust, or if maybe he saw her killed by something else and that drove him even farther into madness. Um, saddest thing about this whole run is I have no reason to talk to my talk to my doll friend my doll friend okay um let's see can't fortify right now can repair it though I have her jewel it doesn't mean I'm not gonna give it back to the girl I'm not gonna, but I could. Alright, I'm gonna buy a bunch of um, vials because the, the thing about this game that you'll notice is the blood vials are 180 echoes right now. Um, they get more expensive the farther into the game you go, to the point where I think they end up costing like 3600 at one point. Um, granted, you're getting more echoes at the same time, but I... That's just a little bit of min-maxing on my part to, um, to make sure that I, you know, get the most out of my Echoes right now, since I'm not going to really be farming for them. Uh, and I'm going to crush that. Can I? Okay, I can't use it yet. Okay. So for, we're two for two on bosses right now. Next one is the Blood Star Beast, which um, historically has actually given me a lot of trouble until just recently. Um, I have obviously never fought it with a low-level character like this, so we'll see how that goes. But... And, of course, I say this now, and it'll probably bite me in the ass, but I'm actually feeling pretty pretty confident about the Blood Starved Beast. Um, but we'll see how that goes once we actually get to it. Um, but I'm definitely going to get as high of a weapon as I can. I think I can get to... Plus... Um... Maybe plus five? Possibly even plus six? So we'll see how that goes. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Uncontrollably, bleh. So 
so now I can use that jewel. The turret, turret guy? Um, yeah, you don't have to kill him. In fact, uh, I don't think I will. I probably could, but I don't think I will. And yeah, Durja is a great name. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be a This guy is a monstrosity. Really sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts of everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Yeah, Even Sir Turret Fuckface is definitely the best name. <laughs> Screams of women folk. And also 100% accurate. The snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, he, he's kind of, um, like, horrible when you really look at him. Like, look, look, look at this ugly monstrous motherfucker but uh he is actually kind of like one of the nicest uh most generally good people in the game so like it's actually not a bad thing to leave people with him believe it or not uh, that's the thing about uh, Bloodborne and, and the Dark Souls series in general, like, the people that seem like, you know, they sh should be trustworthy are usually, like, the least trustworthy people. Yeah, I gotta get my... God, I'm so not used to being this weak this early on. Give me this. My... He, okay, so Lair is definitely um, an exception. At least that's who I'm assuming you're referring to. Because so Lair is a, a cool bro. He is the sun bro. And everybody loves him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, this is not gonna be good. And of course his axe goes right through the big dude. Oh, you tricky fucker. He totally like started that swing and then paused. Come on, I don't want to take on both of you. Ah, don't got time for this. Need this. And where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There. Oh, don't want to be stuck here. Excuse me, but I'm going to just take that, and I will leave you to your business. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my weapon again and I think this is something I want yep damn that's a lot of them okay upgrade my weapon again and um, put in some of the gems so I think I can get the binocular here thank you Excuse me. Rude. Alright, and I'll show you pretty much exactly where you have to go from here, Danny, to get to where me and uh, Beta were. Why is that triggering way the fuck over there? I've never seen it do that before. Alright, I... I'll come back to that later. Okay. Uh. All right. So first we're going to get this to a plus three. Now I need twin bloodstone shards. Um, be able to get any any twin bloodstone shards for a while that's okay all right so once you come from this lamp you're gonna go out and take a left out into this little courtyard with the well and you can kill these guys or you can run past them that's entirely up to you. And it looks like I'm going to get killed by them. Or not. Um, then you're going to go down the stairs here. Take a moment to appreciate the beautiful view. And then continue down the stairs here.
Level 42? Seriously? Wow. So you're actually gonna ignore that for first door? And... Go up the stairs, but make sure you watch out for the guy with the gun. And the dog. To this door here. Good lord. I mean, I, I can't blame you. I mean, I, I did that, I think, on my first playthrough. Yeah, you have to pull that lever open up that little sarcophagus thing down there but before you do go down there you want to say hello to Alfred you're a beast hunter aren't you I knew it that's precisely how I started out oh beg pardon you may call me Alfred Protégé of Master Ligarius, Master Ligarius. Vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Jolly cooperation. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. That's what I'm after. Fire paper. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what pe Okay, I'm actually not gonna go through all of that. I bid you farewell. It may the good blood guide your way. Who, Alfred's happiness? Yeah, he's um, a complicated dude. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, fire paper. Actually, I don't want to use that by mistake. Yeah, and you're dead. Ethan, no. Buddy, no. Um, okay. I mean, really, who doesn't love Lady Maria? Probably gonna need those at some point. So there's actually a strat for the Blood Starved Beast using pungent blood cocktails that I just picked up. Um, never use it myself. The town is long abandoned. Hunter's not wanted here. Um, if I really end up struggling with him, then uh, I will consider using that strategy. But I don't think it'll be a problem, but we'll see. I 
remember what that was. Oh well. Don't have time for you. Goodbye. Actually. There's something else over here? No? Okay. So this, uh, you're talking about the strategy for the Blood Starved Beast? You basically, um, because it's Blood Starved, it's especially um, vulnerable to the blood, uh, pungent blood cocktails, which attract beasts. So what you can do is throw it into like the corner of the room that you fight it in. It'll get drawn into the corner and just basically be facing the wall and then you just attack its backside until, you know, either it's dead or it loses its distraction. Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. Only to beasts. They are of no harm. Turn back, Allah. Um, so you can basically... Use the blood, pungent blood cocktails. Good lord, I can't think of the name. Um, to yeah, to keep it like stuck to a wall um, while you just slaughter it. Basically, never done that before. I tried it once when I really used to struggle with the uh, the blood star beast, but I just couldn't seem to get it to work right. I don't have time for you guys. Alright, you know what? No, no, no. Damn it. You still have dreams. 